Hello everyone, and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In Emmerdale, Tom King's, James Chase, mistreatment of Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, seems to be intensifying on the one hand, but also building gradually from small steps into a grand finale on the other. Tom has been discovering new ways to dominate his wife because he has recently become enraged that she has persisted on carrying on with her work rather than giving him her whole life and having children. However, he's starting to find it difficult to conceal his true nature. Tom lost it during Marlin's, Mark Chernek, 50th birthday celebration and broke the porcelain pig that held Lisa's ashes. Despite Bella's heartbreak, he managed to make it seem like her fault. He was able to tear her down even though she tried to defend herself. Additionally, he skillfully staged events so that Charles saw Belle snap at him rather than the other way around, sowing the notion that Belle is the one who is abusing him. After that, he installed a tracker on her phone, which made him angry and caused him to destroy their home when she didn't show up where she had promised to be. Most recently, he purchased a dog to make her quit her job. He's going to boost the end now that this has also failed. Her devotion for her family is one of his greatest pet peeves, and he has been determined to put a stop to it. His blood starts to boil as soon as he sees her hanging out with the dogs and Vinnie Bradley Johnson. His thoughts immediately turn to how he might make this worse for her. Piper, their puppy, is left with Vinnie by Belle when she gets called into work. However, when Vinnie says he's lost the dog, it's not good news except for Tom, who steps in to stop the hysteria, everyone is in a state of chaos. However, it should worry him that Belle is furious with Vinny for losing their cherished dog. It reminds me of Tom's shenanigans. Was he involved in this in any way? When Angelica King, Rebecca Bakes, made the decision to drive herself to a New Year's celebration in Emmerdale, her life abruptly changed. Sadly, she lost control of the car, causing it to crash and killing passenger Heath Hope, Sebastian Dowling. Angelica, who was only 14 at the time, was ultimately charged with driving offenses and was just given an eight-month term to spend in a safe children's home in Bristol. The girl, who had been quiet and reserved most of her life and hadn't really gotten into any problems up until then, was clearly extremely intimidated by the thought. Fearing she wouldn't be able to handle life in the safe haven, where there would undoubtedly be people much tougher than her, Nicola, Nicola Wheeler, and Jimmy, Nick Miles, were her parents. They were afraid that Angel would think it would all be very simple and enjoyable, so they persuaded Belle Dingle, Eden Taylor Draper, who had previously lived in a safe children's home, to talk to Angel about her experiences. Both Belle and Angel were traumatized by this intervention. The former had to relive some traumatic events, and the latter was left completely terrified of what might come next. In the episode that aired on Wednesday, April 3, James Chase's character Tom King asked Jimmy, Nicola, and his aunt and uncle to lunch. Tom was out celebrating a new contract he'd obtained for the vets with Patty, Dominic Brunt, and Vanessa, Michelle Hardwick. He didn't bother informing Belle this, though, and led her to continue on her own. When Jimmy came by himself, he informed Nicola that she wouldn't be arriving since she was on the phone to the safe house. Angelica has been acting out once more, he said. Her attitude is what's making them crazy. Imagine a place like that, teeming with different kinds of people, and our angel is the one pushing them to the brink. Jimmy appeared to be carrying a lot of weight, so he asked Belle if he could ask her some questions about living in a locked unit in an attempt to make sense of what was happening with Angel. Awkward in every way. We won't see Angelica again until the fall if she serves out her entire term. With the Instagram post, had an amazing time filming this storyline, can't wait to get back to it. Actress Rebecca Bakes hinted at her impending return. Nicola King informed us that Angel might be a completely different person than the one who departed when she does return. 
Given a glimpse into the future, may I just ask what lies ahead? When Angel leaves this place, who will she become? Isn't it the important question? From everything we've learned in this episode, it appears that the kings will face significant difficulties upon the homecoming of their daughter. Has Angel become somewhat of a devil? Actor Amy Nuttall of Emmerdale is said to have reconciled with her cheating ex-husband Andrew Butchin. During filming the new BBC drama, Andrew supposedly fell for his better co-star Layla Farzad, 39. As a result, the couple split up earlier this year. After their breakup, Amy, 41, filed for divorce. However, it appears that the two are back on track, as it has been stated that she has given him seven set rules to follow in order to keep the relationship going. According to insiders, she has insisted on weekly date evenings while they adhere to the 777 method, complete phone access, and no interaction at all with co-stars while they are not on set. No one thought they could come back from this, but Amy has decided to give it one more go, an insider revealed. Amy claims that the pair is once more residing together, nevertheless. Regarding their cozy family home in Buckinghamshire, she said to the Sunday Times, I'm a co-owner of our home there. However, who is the actor's spouse, and are there any kids between them? We know the following. Amy and her husband Andrew started dating in 2007 and were married in 2012. Andrew, 44, is an actor and writer from Stockport. He is most known for playing Mark Latimer in the ITV thriller Broadchurch. Following his graduation from Durham University and the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, he made his stage debut as Romeo and Juliet's Mercutio in 2005 at Manchester's Royal Exchange Theatre. In 2006, he made his television debut in the Jane Eyre adaption, playing the role of Street John Rivers, the priest. In the political drama Party Animals, he co-starred with Matt Smith as the regular character Scott Foster. He has also been in the films Better, Garrow's Law, The ABC Murders, All the Money in the World, and The Fixer. The pair is very private about most aspects of their lives, however they have two children, a son and a daughter. Have a tale to tell. Contact the metro.co.uk entertainment team with your celebrity tale, video, or photos by visiting our Submit Stuff page, sending us an email at celebtips at metro.co, or giving us a call at 020-3615-2145. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.